topic today. I think it's been about two weeks or so. You've seen a song and a video posted up titled Blasphemer. I've been bumping it. I've seen some of the comments left. And we have one of the makers of the song. I already gave you his government. <laughs> Hope he <laughs> gave it a government. But goes by the name of Freedom. Freedom, you're online. Ah, uh, shalom, shalom, shalom. How are you? Excellent. Hey, man. Thank you. I know there's a big time difference between the Eastern Standard Time and Egypt, Cairo yeah, specifically. Like, so we yeah, appreciate like seven you. Seven hours. Seven hours. Well, seven hours. You probably want to get some shut eye by now. <laughs> So, <laughs> so we got Freedom Online, we got Freedom Online, and um, I guess everybody knows at this point that you're in Egypt. Yes, sir. Let us, give us a little bit of a breakdown as to, you know, how you came upon the truth of your identity prior to leaving the United States of America and going to Egypt. Um... Uh, so, well, you know, uh, spiritually, I, I always thought that we were a special people. But uh, about three, four years ago, um, you know, uh, being in New York, you see a lot of brothers, uh, you know, on the streets, Israelite brothers. Right. And uh, I just wanted to challenge what they were saying and um, really trying to debunk it. They found out that it was true. And uh, from that from that point on, I started researching. And uh, I, uh, at the time, I was uh, teaching school before I, I came over to Egypt in Brooklyn. Right. And uh, I. So you're uh, your teacher by profession. I was a teacher by profession. Okay, gotcha. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I, I asked my my students uh, a question, and I explained to them if they if they watch. Their whole life in, in seeing that Christ was black, Moses was black, all these great prophets and people in the Bible were black. What they do they think they'd be on the streets, you know, wilding out? And and I asked them to raise their hand. None of the kids raised their hand. So when at that moment I knew that, that I had something. And uh, from then I began to teach him. I, I began teaching. Them. And from there it, I, uh, I took it from Brooklyn, New York to uh, my family that was in uh, Michigan and uh, it, it just took off and uh, uh, we left maybe a year ago with maybe like 40 people and um, everything was going well we was, we was fellowshipping together and this is, uh, in, this is in Detroit, Michigan, right? This is in Detroit, Michigan Okay, but I had my brothers and sisters that was in, in the East Coast uh, they were coming to, to the Midwest as well. We were fellowshipping in New York, and we were fellowshipping in, in, in uh, Detroit. Eventually, we left. We was over in Egypt. We were fellowshipping. Uh, in the Quran, it talks about us heading back east. They didn't like that too much. Prompt to, uh, to us going to um, Justin TV so people could go watch our homes without being, you know, uh, kind of messed with because we were in a Muslim nation. <clears throat> um, right, and, uh, right before, right before you get there, let me ask that question. Sure. I mean, it's a, it's courageous to up and leave, right? The country of your origin, even right. though we're here as strangers, but it's the country of your origin. To up and leave and just Absolutely. relocate across the seas to a country you've never been to, completely right. different. We've only read about these things, right? What, what made you right. take the leap of faith? Uh well, if you look at the scriptures. All the prophets took the leap of faith. Scripture, scripture talks about there's the physical, then there's the spiritual. Right. And like I was explaining to you before, you know, Moses had to walk walk out of Egypt and walk to the Red Sea before the Most High stood the sea for him. Moses, I mean, Abraham had to, to get up and leave his homeland, you know, before he went to the land of Canaan. So it was just a leap of faith, you know. That, that I, I know, I, I, for, for some reason, I... I knew it was real when I was researching, studying was real, and um, and 
I just asked the most high, if this is true, I want to follow, I want to know the truth. And, and it's like, here I am now. Boom. What? How does the government embrace Israelites coming into <laughs> Egypt? I mean, this is a weird question. Well, we, we left Egypt a long time ago, so now we're asking, how does the government <laughs> embrace Israelites coming back into Egypt? <laughs> well, just the thing, to, um, it, it, if you really think, look at the scriptures, anytime we were in that in captivity, and we ran out to another captivity, or we left home, it was really because we were hiding. And that's pretty much the same thing that's over here. You know, we don't really expose uh, um, that we Israelites, even, although they do know, you know, we kind of play the dumb role, you know, with them as far as, um, you know, them, them just thinking that we're regular Americans. Right. And that's fine, you know. <clears throat> you know, um, but you have some, I have, to, I, had, I have had conversations with uh, Egyptians to actually know who we are and say, yeah, you guys are Yahuda. You know, and I'm like, okay, let's just, you know, I kind of like trying to fill them out. You you got to say that. You got to say that one more time. We we got a lot of listeners that listen online live, plus our you know our podcast is recorded and they go in at their own convenience. What you just said is a gem, and, and, and should be heard by everybody. You got to yeah. say that again. Um, again, I was saying that. Um, you know, I had a conversation. Some of us, some Egyptians know exactly who we are. And the conversation when I had with this gentleman at the restaurant, he he was like, "Yeah, you guys, you Black Americans are Yahuda," and you know, like you know, I just don't go into a conversation with that with with, with people because of some sometimes if they're not educated, the first thing they're going to think is that you're the Jewish people. You're claiming to be part of them, but this gen gentleman knew that that we are the original people of the land of Canaan or Israel. And I asked him who told him, he said my grandfather told me. So what what you know, if, could you could you the individual you're talking to, what was his skin tone? What does he look like? He was an Arab. <laughs> okay, so this is not He's necessarily a, somebody black. This is an Arab, however the mixture comes across. And his right. grandfather told him straight up, you guys are the people of the book guys are the people of the book but I um it's so funny that that he said that because before I left America prior to leaving America uh, a couple years ago I was going around just asking Arabs they didn't know who was the Hebrews and if there's a uh, 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 eleven confession that's actually on YouTube and I'm interviewing an Arab just with my Blackberry off a conversation mm -hmm. and he explained the whole thing how we were Hebrew Israelites and, and he confirmed everything I learned at that particular time so that really just gave me I was really just all with it and, and continued to do my research and learn more and more and more so you're in Egypt now uh, yes. let everybody know what are you doing in Egypt <laughs> what are we Egypt ah, if anybody reads the uh, scriptures and I'm sure I so the sisters do. Uh, Isaiah 11, uh, we, we, we came here due to Isaiah 11. And not only Isaiah 11, it's because we uh, uh, believe that we, we were supposed to uh, uh, walk out of our captivity uh, the same way that uh, uh, our forefathers did when they were in the, uh, uh, the land of Egypt. So, right, right. Uh, we... we um, uh, we, you know, did research and research the scriptures, and uh, uh, it's, it's no different than uh, when the scripture talks about how to take them by the hand and recompense them, you know, to lead them out. Right. You know, but actually, our people had to get up and walk out of Egypt physically. It was a right. physical lead. Right. Yeah. They didn't. They yeah. didn't warp. They didn't just warp and automatically beam out. When nah, they, they didn't beam out. Step yeah. foot after foot. They didn't beam out. <laughs> you know, they actually had to get up and leave. Precisely. Just like you did. Now. Absolutely. Now, we had a discussion earlier, and I yes. told you straight up that, you know, when I initially communicated with you and you said you're in Egypt, my thoughts were, you know what? Noble. However, it's got to be a struggle down there. I, I see you living in the undergrounds. You know, being chased by cops and, and running from immigration, and and you know, on Not the hustle, 
you know. Not at all. And and I found that interesting. Let everybody know how life is down there. What is it? What it is that you're doing? And you know, let's okay. check the temperature. All right. Well, uh, Egypt is is not what uh, what people are saying it is. Uh, that you know, we over here living uh, uh, like legal immigrants. Right. That's not true. Right. Um, we we get visas every six months. We renew our visas. We have no problems out of the Egyptians, as far as we uh, are renewing our visas. Right. Um, and I was explaining to you earlier that uh, um, you know there's a new way we found where through your leasing, whatever your lease says, that's how long your visa uh, uh, says as well. So if you have a lease that says three years, your visa is three years. So I st I uh, step off the plane. I step off the plane. I, I find plane. I find somewhere to lease or rent, and I well, well, I go to the authorities, show them my, my my paper, say, hey, I got a lease for three years. I go to the authorities, and boom, I get stamped for three years. Well, this is the process. Um, first of all, we're 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 always welcoming our brothers and sisters to come uh, come in. We like save yourself. If you want to come to Egypt or communicate with myself, we'll pick you up. I have villas ready out here for you to look at, and I'm talking about villas that's three bedrooms, three bathrooms, all marble. Now, and that doesn't matter, but what I'm just going to show you what we're getting for our money, right? For right. say America, that's what I want. Three hundred dollars, three hundred American dollars. So you know, I mean, we we're talking about humongous place, humongous villas, um, um, and but we we show you villas. And uh, um, you either you have a place to stay with with one of the brothers or or or, or, uh, or if you're a sister, you know one of the sing single sisters. Um, we haven't met no one who was crazy as of yet. Praise the Most High for that. <laughs> um, but uh, we after that, there's jobs available. Most Americans here that that or, or Hebrew Israelite brothers and sisters are teaching English. Or in the telecommunication, because Egypt deals with a lot of uh, 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 um, uh, international organizations or companies and English-speaking people. Right. And believe it or not, America, these people love Americans out here. You know what I mean? I mean, we, we, we basically really take advantage of that title. You understand what I'm saying? Gotcha. Meaning that in the school systems, and the school systems, they hire us. I mean, my wife, uh, uh, she's uh, uh, from uh, uh, West Indies. She's a Benjamite sister. Okay. And, you know, you know how they got a very strong accent. But she she went to an interview, no resume, they got a resume at home and everything. But just because she spoke English, <clears throat> they hired her and, and, and to teach. And she makes great money. So we're we're you know we're making good money to out here, you know my wife picks up from home she gets drops off at home with my uh, we had a son that was born over here, babies are being born over here so it's nothing like what people are are saying most and, and what I explained to you before most of those people who are speaking bad never left America or either they they, they never left the neighborhood right so you actually have to come over here yourself and see you know see, it's like you know don't judge a book by its cover right and that's but, usually um, the case i mean everybody we watch cnn and we see people running around and you know throwing rocks and they're burning down villages and stuff like that so we we, we automatically get a stigma until you you, right. you step off there and you're like wow it's a little different right. than what absolutely. i thought now absolutely now, um, in the interest of time, I mean, we could speak all day on this. I, I, I find it fascinating. Um, the song Blasphemer. Fantastic yes. song. Fantastic Thank you very song. Much. What's the inspiration behind that? How did you guys come to that? Well, we, we know that uh, uh, the truth is not being told in, uh, 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 in these churches and these facilities. And so we just want to put that in. And also, we wanted to show people that there's life outside of America. So we wanted to actually, instead of putting up video, a video which is short clips, we actually want to do a video, a video. 
and 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 we didn't have the state of the art uh, uh, cameras. Right. We used what we had, and we like I said, we wanted to show people that this, that this life, that we're okay. You know that there's nothing wrong coming back east. You know, scripture talks about coming back east, and so we just wanted to show uh, uh, show the people that that blasphemy. These people are lying. They're trying to keep us trapped with these lies, and just to wake the people up. Now, in, in terms of, I mean, a lot of the people have seen the video. It's, you posted it up on the Facebook wall. I think I posted it up as well. I've seen it posted up a few times. Uh, in terms of the MCs, which one or oh, what number? Where do you fall in? Just to put a face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I'm the one say don't fall for the banana and the tailpipe. <laughs> Boom. Your brother with the Egyptian kids, around. There you go. <laughs> so when you're listening, you know, or you're watching, you know who you're talking to. What's the name of the MCs on it? Ah, you got, uh, you have uh, Shapur, you have uh, Yemaye, you have, uh, um, let's see, uh, uh, you have Johan, the Benjamite, which is uh, actually the first, first, the first guy. Right. You have uh, uh, Ken, which is the second guy. Paul is the third guy. Myself is the fourth guy. The last guy is Jimmy Yang. Boom. Again, that song is fantastic. And, you know, we're getting towards the end of the show. We're going to expire 9 o'clock, obviously. Um, let everybody know how to contact you. If you're interested in going uh, to Egypt, um, relocating yeah. even tomorrow, you want to pack your bags and leave tomorrow, um, who do they call? How do they get at you? Well, yes, yes. If, you, if you're interested... Personally, before we go, we have a Passover that's coming. If you're interested in coming to Pat, going coming out of here for the Passover to fellowship with us, that's fine. We got brothers and sisters coming from the states over here because uh, they want to see. Uh, but if you're really interested in, 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 in just coming to visit, you can reach out to to myself at three four seven four one four nine zero nine two. Ask for freedom and. Um, we can talk, and I can, and I can, uh, we can connect from there. Or you can reach me at Freedom Ashra, F R E E D O M A S H I R A, at yahoo.com. And uh, we can, we can uh, get you over here and, and just and fellowship with brothers and sisters. You can look around and see. We can talk and just go from there. Like I said before, we give give that phone number one more time. That phone number is 347-414-9092. Excellent. And ask for freedom. Ask for freedom. So we're going to go straight into the song, Blasphemer. I want to thank you for joining us this evening. Uh, thanks for the interview, man. And, and the, you Thank know, you, family. Thank you. Absolutely. And, uh, Continue to do what you're doing now. Absolutely. No doubt. Here oh, yeah, look out for the next video. The video. We, the, 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 the Be Continued. The, so all right. Bring Jake home. Bring Jake home. I got That's the song. I got the song. Bring Jake home. I got it. <laughs> yes, sir. You got to play it. <laughs> so you're going to see that a little later. I also got some new stuff from Yarimia and King David. We got some new music on the deck. But right now, we're going to go straight into Blasphemer. Big up and thanks for calling in, man. I think I lost you. Yeah. Yeah. This right here is in response to the letter. 1925 by Pope John Pius or whatever his name is claiming that they have the right to change Old Testament laws and create new ones and that Sunday is the official day to worship Stanley's bulk and cross wearing, backbiting blasphemers, yeah. bail whoring, sacrilegious. Why you follow I the follow. Devils in the flesh, I can see it I in their eyes. It. Mocking Christ on the cross while they spreading all their lies. Man. Bunch of 666 repping unholy terrorists. Closing to the world as they air the hair of right. Satan's on the throne, waiting to have the Everyone is bowed down just to kiss his crown Great bunch of baby touching boy Rubbing love is a vice How you giving out pardons when Christ paid the price Why they call the Holy Father 
when there's only one the higher the Satan higher, wants to be above up. but there is no there higher, is no higher authority. Than higher. Pope, you a goddamn yeah, liar yeah, and damn, you all sure. will have a part in our God's damn fire. Claiming you're vicarious Christian. Making all the fools kiss the rest. Cause David said kiss the sun, yeah, he's the holy one, the only one. What are you Such a blasphemer, yeah. You're a blasphemer, yeah. You're such a blasphemer. On Saturday could never be the sun's day. Yeah. Catholicism claiming that they got all the wisdom, but look where all the schisms coming from. It's hard to miss them. Canon law claiming that they got authority to change the Sabbath. Now the whole world make it a habit to obey their masters, deceiving the masses. Upper class or lower class, it don't even matter. Pope replacing the Son of God as well with a poker face, so it's kind of hard to tell it's a joke to Satan making you follow the Nicolaitans you are You're listening to Chris Kuhn on the next mercy drives up, stolen lies up poor houses on your corner holes line up for the Eucharist, the blasphemy wine cup since early AD, stay keeping them crimes up him bells, but you ain't keeping them chimes up your time's up faster than I finish this crime up claiming your vicarious Christian making all the fools kiss the rest Said, kiss the sun, yeah, he's the only one, the only one. What are you doing? Bringing all the earth down to ruins. You're such a blasphemer, yeah. You're a blasphemer, yeah. You're such a blasphemer. On Saturday could never be the sun's day. So many people put their hope in a pope. These man made priests need to be hung by a rope. A Gentile can never sit in the Levite seat. It'll be like sunlight rising at a midnight peak. Besides, Christ said, never call another man father. A highest is name. Even bother to go to church on Satan's day where the people break the law and make kids turn gay. Don't know which way to go or how to obey. Sitting up in mass like everything's a okay. And while the organ play, people get up and pray to Christ's mom and idol made from clay. These Roman Catholic cats got it twisted. False doctrines and lies to other denominations is shifted. Immaculate conception, rapture in the Trinity, philosophy found nowhere in the Bible's vicinity. Said, kiss the sun, yeah, he's the holy one, the only one. What are you doing? Bringing all the earth down to ruins. You're such a blasphemer, yeah. You're a blasphemer, yeah. Getting towards the end of the show. Saturday could never be the sun. I never day. fall for the banana and the tailpipe. The Catholic Church and the rest of our whores are all dice. Can't hold free down when I'll be putting up a fight. Pope Benedict, I'm at your sexual. The chosen seed that the most high is doing. The same little ass. Let's go. But we'll see, we'll see. You play out with fire and brimstone. Keep on yeah. coming, your friends to get show. It's a plus to know about your high grade clothes. It's at, Come on. It's at the door, there's nothing but big and stones. So watch the door. Watch the door, table turn, you'll be gone. So roll until the devil meets you, my seat get grown. Be on your blocks and betraying your spots. Call the cops with the posts on the Bibles into knots. It's never gonna stop. I'm your fake demonic priest. It's over when the remnant of the children of Israel return to the Said, kiss the sun, yeah, he's the holy one, the only one. What are you doing? Bringing all the earth down to ruins. You're such a blasphemer, yeah. You're a blasphemer. Next week, yeah, got some brand new Yarinia. Some bangers. Straight blasphemy. These Catholics keep on asking me which day is the Sabbath Sunday or is it Saturday? Blah. It's sad to say that your Hail Mary's got you off. Toss to and fro off a doctrine that's false. Trying to carry a cross. Now you lost in the sauce. From the Vatican, we back again. Exposing the Satan. The earth was given into the hand of the pagans. You are listening to the priest. He's nothing but an idol. He's something like a rival to the God of the Bible. But how be it when the truth spirit finds you? See the truth is the truth hurts when truth likes you. But so many so called Christians like being lied to. I know because I too once fit them size shoes. So what did I do? I raised my IQ. So I advise you to open up your eyes to. Got some brand new King Dow with next week. What are you doing? Bringing all the earth down the room. Got a whole lot of brand new music next week. Yeah, gonna take you out with this one. Big up to freedom. The truth music, the whole click down there in Egypt. Bring shit home. Bring shit back. Bring shit home. Bring shit back. Bring shit back.
This is a snippet. I'm gonna bring this out soon. We'll see everybody next week. Thanks for listening to the Israelite Music Mix Show. Pick yourself up. Next week, Monday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bring Jake back. The Israelite Music Mix Show.